What if Eli had stuck with the team that took him, the San Diego Chargers? We now know the Bolts used the first overall pick of the Ott Four draft on Peyton's little brother. And after the New York Giants grabbed NC Stater Phillip Rivers three picks later, the two teams swapped signal collars. But what if Archie's Ole Miss progeny had put that lightning bolt helmet on? Well, first of all, the Giants would have passed on Rivers and taken Miami of Ohio's Ben Roethlisberger, who they had rated as the second-best quarterback on the board that year. Fact is, they only took Rivers at number four in order to deal him to San Diego. Don't believe me? Ask then-Giants GM Ernie Accorsi. That, in turn, means Rivers falls to 11th, where Steelers head coach Bill Cowher gets the guy he preferred to Big Ben. Ask Bill Cowher if you don't believe me on that one. Eli bolts to SoCal, Big Ben goes to the Big Apple, and Phil plays in the Three Rivers. Over the first couple of seasons in our arms race, Rivers has the upper leg. He takes Ott Four's Rookie of the Year after he takes over for Tommy Maddox in Week 2, and in Year 2, steers the Steelers' bus through the AFC playoffs and up to Detroit for Super Bowl XL. Sorry, Seahawks. Those yellow things the refs wave all day aren't flags. They're terrible towels. And Phil grabs the first ring of the Ott Four QB class. Now to Ott Six, where things really start cooking. Eli, now starting with Breeze departed, takes the Chargers to a 14-2 and record and a divisional round home game against the Patriots. And wouldn't you know it, Eli proves to have Tom Brady's number. Then in the AFC title game, he knocks off the game's other best QB, a guy named Peyton Manning. Eli caps the Bolts' dream season with a win against Chicago for San Diego's first Lombardi. Quick football zoology lesson. There's a signal calling food chain, you see. Eli eats Brady, Brady eats Ben, Ben eats Phil, Phil eats Peyton, and everyone eats Rex Grossman. The following season, Eli's Chargers again dump Brady's Pats in the playoffs, ending New England's bid for an undefeated season in the AFC title game. The Bolts go to the Super Bowl, where they meet Big Ben's Giants. Finally, the duel we've been waiting for. Eli is a lead throughout and on the cusp of his second straight crown. But with just 35 seconds left, Roethlisberger tosses the game-winning touchdown pass to Plexico Burris. You think that's crazy? You ain't seen nothing yet, because in the odd eight division, Round, Phil Steelers host Eli's Chargers. Phil and company win it, then get to the Super Bowl to play the NFC East champion Giants, who plucked the Cardinals and their QB, Kurt Warner, who in Ott 4 played in front of Ben Roethlisberger for half a season. Anywho, this time, the Super Bowl showdown is Phil Steelers versus Ben's Giants. And guess what? Big Ben strikes again. Deja Big Blue. Fast forward to the Ott 9 AFC title game in Indy. Eli's 13-3 and three bolts pay a visit to Peyton's place and leave with first-class tickets to Miami, but lose to Breeze's Saints. So this time, the master gets the better of the apprentice. That means that somewhere Obi-Wan Kenobi is smiling, Darth Vader may be frowning. In 2010, Phil comes up short in a super snowy Jerry Dome, losing a chance for a second Lombardi thanks to Aaron Rodgers' rocket right arm. Same fate meets Big Ben and the Giants in 2011. They get to Indy for XLVI, but get whipped by Brady's Patriots. Hey, that's how the food chain works. So... Big Ben has two rings. Eli and Phil each get one. Brady now has four rings. Peyton has zero. And J.P. Losman, the fourth QB taken in the Ott Four draft, makes onion rings in the deep fryer at a fast food joint.